well you cannot afford that with only one person and i think it's better for you to think about okay what are the other options in order to make the cost really low i have a dream that's all i need i'll make it happen with some work and belief so if you are a sole trader you have to pay um fat that means that this is you and your company if you sell services you need to put 21 percent uh i think nine percent of six but let's go over 21 percent what on everything and when you sell it to someone in uh, in the in the netherlands when you sell it you need they need to pay 121 percent yeah so if you sell something let's say for 10 you need to sell it for 12 and 10 dollar euros yeah what i'm saying that is because the 210 here needs to go to the tax government because you have to pay fat fat way to way they call it here so if you look at here if you register a business in the netherlands in most cases tax administrator consider your entrepreneur for fat yeah for less of what expensive professional so you have some exemption where you don't have to pay what you will have to file a what return and pay what on your turnover if you turn over less than twenty thousand, then you can apply for small business core if you have core you don't charge um, what so technically when you sell something you need to put what if you have less than 20k then you don't have you can apply for this you need to apply for this huh? core and if you don't apply for this then you still need to pay what yeah but if you apply for this then you get an assumption that means you don't have to pay what most of the time your accountant will um, advise you about this part and then tell you what you can do and what you cannot do so that's what the part about the thought keep that in mind yeah and when you sell something always sell it for 125 percent that means 100 plus 21 percent why is that because um when you sell it that's the price include what if you sell it for um seven nine percent that means you're uh you are losing money so keep that in mind yeah so that's the part about what um let's see i forgot to re reset okay we're gonna talk about liability and authority yeah we're gonna go through this last part let's see yeah liability okay let's read what they say about liability and netherlands or so trader is not legal corporate entity this means you're liable for all your action and finance no difference is made between you personal and business asset creditors are therefore entitled to make a claim on your personal asset you also have to file the bank personal bankruptcy if you so well so trader is declared bankrupt if you have a partner you can prevent them from going bankrupt too by drawing up a prenup or register partner agreements so what they're saying is if you have a company as a sole trader if you if you have a contract and you cannot meet the requirement of the contract the person here or the company here can come after you if there's nothing in here they can come to your personal stuff so if you have a house they can come after your house so they will look at your asset and um, you can they got try to get something from it that's technically it if you have a partner they can come also come after your partner yeah so keep that in mind if you're married and it's better to prevent this by having a partner in agreement or prenup if you get married so prenup that's how you can prevent this so keep that in mind if you're associated they can come after you as a person yeah so that's what they're saying that's what they're saying with the liability if something goes wrong people can come after you if you own people some money they can come after you authority let's see what they say um yeah the owner of the business always have full authority to sign that means you are entitled to sign contracts or perform legal actions such as reporting changes in dutch commentary 
commercial commercial register you can give someone power of attorney documentary state else yeah yeah so technically what they're saying is if you are not in holland you can give people power of attorney yeah that means that the attorney can um do some things on behalf of you so that's easy to give you just sign a contract and if it be recognized it will be recognized by the chamber of commerce right and what they're saying you can also give someone power of attorney to make some contract for you or to sign some contract for you so power of attorney they call it so you have the authority that's what they discuss here this is really important if you cannot sign a contract and you want someone else to sign it for you and if you're far away you can let uh, you can sign the um, power of um, attorney and make sure it meets requirements and then send it to the person and let them sign the contract for you so they they sign a the contract on behalf of you so that's what they are discussing here and then we have sole trader employees this is something really important and i think if you're going to start in a um, company it's not smart to hire employees why is that if something goes wrong they're going to come after you and most of the time there are a lot of rules in the dutch regulation that protects employees there's nothing wrong with that but the thing is sometimes it goes too far and it's better to have a bv a private limit company than an um sole trader than being a sole trader so if you look at here despite the name sole trader can employ staff so they can get some staff that's easy the dutch term emanzaak literally one man business technically yeah one man business simply refer to legal structure and has nothing to do with the number of people employed by a business so if you see a sole trader or an emanzaak that doesn't mean they don't have staff they can have staff or they can have different kind of structure the first time you hire employee you have to register employee so, so when you hire employee you need to register and all the stuff most of the time when you have an accountant they will tell you what you need to do or most time when you hire a company they can help you with the necessary steps in order to make sure you meet the requirements of the law so that's what they're saying here so the employees let's see what do they say about dot social security and national insurance contribution yeah technically if someone works for you you need to pay these um social insurance they tell you about this but this is the automated process so that means if you have staff if you have so if you hire someone they can help you with those things and they will sure tell you that you need to pay this because this is really important you cannot miss this if you hire staff you cannot miss this if you pay them cash you have a problem yeah so because you need to pay this also that means you need to pay them cash and extra you don't want that so it's better when you are planning to hire staff to um, have this in mind even if you have one or two uh, think about what's the best structure to work together or work for each other and then apply that because this can create um, difficult situation but sometimes you see people they have an uh, sole trader company one man business let's say and they have to pay a lot because they want to use the services for other people while they cannot afford that with only one person and i think it's better for you to think about okay what are the other options in order to make the cost really low keep that in mind so let's say you want to end your sole trader business so it's a one one man business and here they explain what it is should you decide to end your business, you must deregister at the KVK, Chamber of Commerce. You also have to settle with the tax administration. If your company has increased in value over time, you will have to pay discontinuation profit tax. So that means if you make a profit of 100,000 and you want to stop, you still need to pay the tax for that 100,000. Have you built up a retirement reserve this counts as income and you will have to pay tax about it. So here you can read everything about ending your business but we are here about in starting your business if you're planning to end your business or um, change your business legal form feel free to contact me on discord so let's see what we have changing your legal structure this is something we will discuss in another video the reason why i'm saying that is because um yes a lot of people go from um, amazon to um, bv private limited company 
there are ways to do that but there are also a lot of companies that provide this service for really reasonable price and you don't have to think about it a lot they can help you with everything that you need in order to make sure you meet requirements so and here they give you some basic tips about it that's really nice okay so if you look at the the private label um, the so, the sole trader it has some benefits and some disadvantage if you're starting out from outside the netherlands and you're thinking about okay i'm in country x and i want to have a business in the netherlands i will tell you don't start a sole trader really i'm going to be real with you don't start why simple um it's hard to get through and it's better to start with a private limited company and that's much better or other legal entity but sole trader is not the way yeah why i'm saying that is because sole trader you have your asset is important is in danger when something goes wrong and with a bv when you start the bv everything should be fine because the bv is the person that signed the contract the bv is thing that does the thing and it's also easy to create a power of eternity with a bv so when you create a BFE, the process will go really fast if you meet the requirements and then you have a BFE, uh, a private limited company in the Dutch Kingdom and you can have someone, for example, us to help you out um, with your business in the Netherlands. So that's how you need to keep it. But when something goes wrong, you can always remove this, create a new one and the same. But watch out, there are some um, things that you need to keep in mind. But this this process i'm saying it's really simple but it's not that simple when something goes wrong you just remove this and create a new one i'm saying it's simple but in uh it's simple to talk about it like that but in real life it doesn't work like that because if you want to create a new one they're gonna look okay what happened here is it your fault if you have question about this what you can do is you can just go to the this uh, page you find the link in the description and you press here law center in the law center we can give you some advice how you can um, start out and you answer some of your questions if you if you have some legal issue you'll be like okay you know what i have some legal issue i have some question i do not know where to start or i do not know what to do in this situation just press here legal advice once a week we have a legal session and during the legal session you can get free legal advice and you can ask questions whatever you want if you find this information, this video useful, you can buy me coffee. When you press this link, you will arrive on this page and you can see here, you can support me by buying me one coffee, three coffee or five coffee. It's up to you. You can also say something nice or you can become a member. I have a dream. That's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Know what I want. So I'll take it on. I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong. Let's break it down for a minute. I want the crown, I'm gon' get it. You hear me loud, man, I'm winning. Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be great.